Hi guys, welcome to Operation Crypto. This is a price analysis video on Oasis Network, which is Ticket Rose. We'll have a look at the asset and the USDT pairings and identify a few key levels where we could potentially invest. This project has been on a monster rise. I mean, even going back to uh, back to June, really, it's just been on the up. We've had the obviously sell off in September when we had the the bear show, and then I mean, it's been up ever since. So we need to have a look at a few key levels where we could potentially invest. And then some levels above in terms of a price prediction because we are into price discovery now. So we'll take a look at all those levels. If you're new to this channel, please make sure that you are subscribed. Hit that like button and let's crack on. So welcome as we have not covered this project before, we'll start off by taking a look at some of the key statistics and, and have a look what's going on there and where we're trading, etc. So Oasis Network ticket rose currently just under 40 cents and we have up 42.5% on today's trading, which is quite a significant amount for a daily candle. Looking at the circulating supply, it is 1.5 billion. We have a maximum and a total supply of 10 billion. Bringing the market cap today of just under 600 million dollars and even the, the 24 hour trading volume is very similar 537 million dollars fully diluted valuation is some things that people overlook at some points but remember the entire amount of their tokens is valued at 3.9 billion dollars and the team have that possibility or that capability should i say is to sell tokens so just be aware of that that is the same on any assets that you look at looking at your time high that is today five hours ago 41.8 cent we did hit before we did start to have a, a tiny bit of a pullback but that will be obviously people taking profit and we'll have a look at some profit taking levels uh, throughout this video where are we trading well because trading is a key point and we are trading on binance for probably the biggest exchange out there in terms of volume and and likability uh, it currently is getting around well pretty much most of volume we get 63 percent against the um the tether pairing and then we get further just shy of 20 percent against the busd pairing so mainly it is usdt pairings what i usually do on my channel is look at btc pairings but we've literally got 0.01 percent of the volume being traded there so we won't look at that right so that's pretty much the tokenomics covered it, just be aware that is part of a cosmos ecosystem and if you're wanting to find out more information on this just go to coingecko.com and then type in rose right looking at the charts that has been epic hasn't it well what we'll do first up is well look at that we're flying at the minute we're close to new all-time highs as we're speaking but what i want to do is just mark up the, the all-time high with the horizontal ray there so that is the all-time high pretty much what we've hit at 42.7 cents and I mean, you can't get away from looking how good that chart looks. And by the time this video ends, we could be pushing up towards 50 cent. But what I want to do is analyze this latest move here. So in terms of Fibonacci's, we're going to go from the bottom here. This is the start of the move to that top. I'm just going to put a little bit of a bearish spin on this first and have a look at some levels below. If the price does reject from here, then you can look down here. My favorite levels are 382 and the 618. The 618 is usually a great level to, to retrace on, but when it's pumping, uh, it depends where you drop from. So I would consider, if you're wanting to buy rows, I would consider placing orders from 32 cent all the way down to 26 cent. And then if we're just looking at moving averages, I usually use the 20 and the 50, and we're still quite far away from there. As you can see, we're hugging that 50, all the way down here using it as support before we didn't break to the upside if you look there those wicks two wicks there several wicks there we used all that that moving average 50 as support and then we pushed to the upside so that is my areas i would consider buying 32 cent down to 26 maybe even ladder a few in from that region down and don't put everything in just have a couple of spare um bits of tether on the side just in case it did drop to 22 but Personally, I think that's quite highly unlikely. Now, I'm expecting over the course of the next few months for the price of Bitcoin to rise. And with that, altcoins will really start to rally too. And this asset is just f absolutely flying. Just remember here as well, we had no closures above this region here on the 382 level. So there's a good chance that we could come back down and test that region there. So we'll box that method off. Uh, so that is a, uh, the first buys on which we'll consider. Uh, let's say ladder them down from that 32 down to 26. 
all in all, things are looking good here. We had a massive cup here with a handle and then a breakout to the upside. And just be aware if we do push up here and then we start going sideways, a potential right, we could form a bull flag and then push up. Looking at RSI here, when we did hit it back on the previous all-time high, if you go back to September, we hit high. RSI was very high up at 91% when we got a rejection. The RSI is coming into the red zone now, so that just shows that the asset is... He's getting into that overbought territory, so there's still room to grow. I mean, we're currently at, at 77 cent, 70, sorry, 78%, and it goes all the way up to 100. So just be aware, if we do break above this green, uh, red line here, it could be a good sell signal there. As you can see, now we are we are creating new all-time highs, $43. So that's a, a bit of a bearish scenario, filled. If we're looking at areas to target, obviously, we can have a look at these extensions above. So whenever I'm doing a Fibonacci, I actually put some negative levels in. So if looking at the latest move here, some levels to target is 49.5 and then 58.5. I think that is a good solid level to sell at. It, I don't think it will get to 50 cent it'll, uh, first time round. It might come up to around 49 cent. Uh, imagine people down here buying thinking, right, I bought at, at 10 cent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell at 5X at 50 cent. Whenever you're looking for sell orders, just drop them a little bit below, maybe 48, 49, 47 cent. That's the area where potentially drop, and that's close to that extension of that fib. A lot of people will be looking to sell at 50, uh, and if you look on the order books, you probably will see a hell of a lot of rows stacked at 50 cent waiting to catch some sell orders, and it just might not happen. So that's the areas I would consider selling at 49, 48 cent. Then if we're going into a bit of a price prediction here, so let's get to this fib. Whenever I'm doing price predictions, I pretty much look at the opposite way around. So we put a fib on from the previous high to that low there, and then we can look at some major extensions up here. Obviously, one dollar is going to be what a lot of people are eyeing up. But if you're looking to take profit on the way up, you can look at some of these levels. We've obviously, got fifty cent. We've got sixty-four cent, seventy-two cent, ninety cent, one dollar seventeen, and then we usually have a six one eight up here at one sixty-one. These targets are not out of the question in my opinion there's always that possibility that you can push up to heaven and once the market does start getting into full flow i mean i'm really meaning when bitcoin has topped out pushed up really high then altcoins will follow it you will see some gains on crypto that you have not seen before if you're new to crypto over the course of the last two to three years you will not see what happened in 2017 and 2013 the rises and the pumps were monumental and we have not had those yet we've had some big gains that is nothing to um, turn your eye against but when the market does start get pumping and it's in full flow we'll really see some great price action so that's my price predict i'll tell you what my price prediction here is around 117 there's a good chance it could get to 161 but for me um just got to consider the market cap and the circulation so we've got 1.5 billion tokens in circulation obviously once we get to a dollar that market cap itself is going to be $1.5 billion. And that's not even with taking into consideration the, the fully diluted market cap, which will be up at around $10 billion too. So that's pretty much my price analysis on that covered. The areas I've mentioned that for buy zones and sell zones, if you're looking to take profit, and then um, the outside. I mean, look at that outside. It's crazy how high that's going now. So just be aware, we're going to get a sell back, uh, a pullback at some point. Um, the whales, the bigger holders, will profit on that by selling high and then rebuying once the price does start to tumble and and obviously we're going to get some big sellers orders up here at 49 cent it will bring a price down and there will be a little bit of panic from late investors who could potentially flap and, and sell up so if you're new do not worry if it starts to drop and fundamentally if you like what the asset is doing it is going to grow and grow so that's going to do it for today's video uh, a new project for the channel if you do like me to cover rose uh in more in the future let me know in the comments and anything you want to ask me fire me comments too and i will get back to you at any point that's going to do it for today if you're new to this channel please make sure that you are subscribed hit that like button and i'll catch you next time